In this video, I'm going to show you how to order decimals in two simple steps. And the first step is we need to list the numbers and then we're going to compare the numbers starting from the left. So let's go ahead and list these numbers. So 8.9, 7.3, 5.3, 8.0 and we have 8.4 now we are going to compare the numbers from the left now we can see the first number we have 8.9 but 7.3 is smaller than that so we're going to compare the units digit which is 7 and 7 so they both are 7 now we're going to move on to the tenth digit so 3 and 9 so we can clearly see 7.3 is the smallest so let's write 7.3 here next number we know is going to be 7.9 now let's go ahead and compare the other three numbers so we have 8.9 8.0 and 8.4 now the unit digits are all the same so we are going to compare them using the tenth digit we have 9 0 and 4. Now out of these three digits, 0 is the smallest, so 8.0 will be smallest of these three numbers. So 8.0. Then we have 8.4 because 4 is the second number. 8.4 and the largest number is 8.9. So we have ordered these numbers from smallest to largest. Now, these numbers only had one digit after the decimal. How about we have more than one digit? Let's have a look at this example here. Now, these numbers have two, some of them have three, some of them have four numbers after the decimal. Now, how are we going to order them? Now, we are going to stick to our rules. So, first of all, we are going to list the numbers. So, let's go ahead and list these numbers in column so 3 0 0.3516 0 0.37 0 0.3105 0 0.315 now what we can do is to make it easier to compare we are going to add some zeros so we're going to make sure there are same number of digits after the decimal so put a zero there as well now the zero doesn't make a difference to the number the value of the number still stays the same because it is after the decimal now we can go ahead and compare them starting from the left now on the left on the units column we can see they're all zeros so we cannot compare them so they're all the same Could the u tenth digit they're all threes so they're all threes so let's go ahead on the hundreds column. Now we can see on the hundreds column, one and one. Now they're both the same. So we're going to compare these two numbers. Now then we're going to move on to the thousand columns. And then we have zero and five. So we can say this number is the smallest. So 0 0.3105. So let's go ahead and write this down. 0 0.3105. And the next number is going to be 0 0.3150 0 0.3150 now let's go ahead and compare the other two numbers on the units column again it's zero the tenths column is three and three they're both the same the hundreds column we have five and seven so five is smaller so we can go ahead and write down 0 0.3516 0 0.3516 and the next number is going to be 0 0.3700 0 0.3700 and we've ordered these numbers from smallest to largest now it's time for you to have a go at some practice questions so here are five questions for you pause the video and have a Go at these questions. Remember the rules start from the list of numbers first and then start comparing from the left. 
Once you're ready, play the video and I'll put the answers on the screen. Here are the answers. I hope you had a go at these questions. Mark these answers. Just note on the last question, the units are different. So what you can do is you can change them all into the same unit. I'd prefer to change them in pounds. If you want, you can change them into pence as well. Because if you change them into pounds, this 120 pence will change into one pound and 20 pence and then you'll have all of them in decimals i hope this video helps and i hope you are able to order decimal numbers with any digits after watching this video and if this video helped you please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for the future videos